All right, guys, we are at uh, Lake Lanier. practicing for a tournament coming up this weekend. Uh, I'm trying to concentrate on these uh, rip wrap walls and I've just caught a, a four and a half just uh, on the beginning of that uh, rip wrap behind me. And I just caught another two right here and I'm just throwing the crankbait uh, rock crawler if I can get it here. And uh, like I said, I've only been here 10 minutes. So uh, I think these fish are getting ready to feed up for the, uh, for the spawn here. It's, um, I think it's the 29th of March. So uh, we got a tournament on the first. But I uh, just wanted to turn you on and see if we can make a good video today, see what I can catch. Or I'm trying all new spots, uh, spots I have never tried before. Uh, just to try to have a backup plan once my other spots they don't take off or whatever but let's uh, see if we can catch some more and uh, we don't want to sort them off from too bad uh, this is uh, Tuesday and the tournament's on Saturday so I think it's going to be alright to stick a couple so let's get back to fishing and see what we come up with And the water temperature is 61, which is a good water temperature to start off this morning. We're going to check it every so often to see what it gets up to. A little one. It's a good pound and a quarter, but we need them bigger than that to win this tournament. This tournament's going to probably be 20, 22 pounds to win this thing, so. The old fat little one. Like I said, when you come up on some rock like that, it's clay banked, then it's then it's a big chunk rock. Fish that area real good because that's where those fish are gonna be sitting up on this rock. I don't know how far that rock come out, but nine times out of 10, that's what they're gonna be sitting up if the uh, bank is just, just clay, then the rocks come up. Go.
these fish are barely eating this bait so I might need to switch to a different color because most everyone I've hooked been on the outside of the mouth that's a good two two and a quarter let's uh let's change this bait out real quick I mean they hitting it don't get me wrong but they not eating it I want them to eat it then just swipe at it but we're gonna keep it handy because if a different color don't work we're gonna go back to it I got a um, let's try this clear crawl pattern I got that in the rock crawler. Let's try this color. Oh, that's a big thing you have to look at. Is those fish just barely swiping at it, barely getting it? Or are they swallowing the whole bait? And I use these speed clips. And I've only had one fail in the last in 10 years, I got guess. So I have no problem with them. So like I said, I want these fish to eat it. Let me mark this spot here. Yeah, a lot of times I mark every spot I catch a fish in just before I can have it as a reference when I go back and just having a hard day and like man where have I caught fish at and it's a good way to kind of remind yourself yeah I did catch a fish over here let me try that I was I was passing a uh, little marker right here and I seen a fish trying to eat some bait. I guess that's what it was. And I just threw, ran up top, threw my, got my popper. And he killed it. That's another four pound spot. Good God, that's... That's a big one there. Come on, thing, I can't grab it. I switched to the rubber net before it went out of that problem. But he got that hook good in there. Happy thing. That's a spot too. I just want to see how big you is and I'll let you go. says it's a 3-1 but it's off a big 
It looks like a large mouth, but it's it's a spot. Look how I definitely need some that size come Saturday. But let's try that again, make sure he's not the only one now. These fish just jumping over this thing. All right, I moved back to this crankbait. Just going down the banks, I've seen all this riprap. I've caught two before I can even turn the camera on. So they eating this crankbait again pretty good. And I don't even think I got to the, to the juice yet. Oh, it gotta be. Shadow. It ain't, ain't 10 feet yet. I don't understand that either. Well, that was a nice bite. I thought it had to be something somewhere around now. All right, I moved and I'm gonna change baits here. I'm just changing colors. Uh, this is not a rock crawler, but uh, it's in red color. So I want to try this color red to see if that makes a difference. Uh, I'm just on this shadow point. I did catch one off of that broken down dock over there. First throw. First cast with that. Ain't that something? And we're gonna see if these fish still biting crankbaits by the weekend. I'm about to pull out my rattle trap and check that. Tell you the truth, I don't think the color matters now that I done went through yellow. Uh kind of crawfish looking deal brown white and i got this red one on the first cast fish bite it if we go to the next point and catch one off this bait i'm gonna probably try to change to a spinner bait or something because we are practicing now I, I, sometimes i forget that all right next point Oh shit, he's bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he was bigger than I thought he was. I was just, it's a good fat too. Just come off of them blowdowns right there. It's been kind of quiet here for the last hour and a half, two hours. 
So I'm just just fishing every good looking thing I see. And all these blowdowns right here on this point was something I good looking that I seen. So, so I take out this shake head and put it to work because it's deep water now. It's, I'm in 32 foot of water right now, but that I'm sure that blowdown is probably in 10. I've got like two bites out of that stretch right there. I haven't got up here yet. But like I said, it's getting up in the day. It's 216. I'm not trying to make no move to about five o'clock cause, cause at three o'clock here in Atlanta, traffic's gonna be real bad. And I've got to go down 400 too. So if I head back, start heading back at four, about five o'clock, by the time I get out the water and get everything locked up and ready to go, you know, it'll be six, 6.30. So I won't get the full brunt of the traffic just to back in. That feel like a good one. Oh hell, he hooked sideways. No wonder, I thought that was him. I thought that was the man. But I appreciate you. Well, I'm back fishing now. I'm, I've been on the phone for about 30 minutes. Ah. Uh, they said I'm just fishing this rip rap. And uh, wherever I can find it, just fishing around it, any kind of little blowdowns and just, just crankbaiting. When you get in that crankbait mode, you just go, go, go. And you run into them here or there, that's about it. Another one. That's another one. I wish the tournament was today. That's another one. Like I said, I'm just fishing. Well, this is a big rip route. Just doing the same thing I've been doing all day. So I think I got the right, right pattern. Three, three. That's another one. Tail, 
It's got a little marks on it. Like they're trying to do something, but. But I most definitely got to go get me another one of these rock crawlers because that's the only one I got that color. I love it when the plan comes together. But this practice, I won practice, but I need to win the tournament. So in my head, I probably had 16, 17 pounds with what I had today, my five biggest. So that's a good day. So we're gonna wrap it up probably right here. It's 12 at the four. Guess I get ready to try to go home, fight some traffic. Probably come out and do it again on Thursday, so. All right guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Make sure you subscribe if you hadn't. Until the tournament video, we out of here. Thanks for watching.